Alexander Wendt established the foundation of constructivism. Constructivism says that anarchy is what states make of it. Alexander Wendt wrote this article titled Anarchy is what states make of it at the end of the Cold War to explain the evolution of bipolar system after the World War II and its self-destruction as the Cold War ended. Classical theories propose that anarchy exists. Realists claim that since anarchy exists, all states need to maximize their military power in order to survive. Liberalism says that all states need to cooperate always so they can survive in an anarchic environment where there is no world government. Alexander Wen disagrees with the basic propositions of the classical theories that conclude anarchy to drive the behavior of the states. Wen insists that states behave as they want to behave and anarchy is just an environment that itself is produced by the very states. This anarchic system is not a pre-established fact but it is constructed by the states. Classical theories insist that the behavior of the states is static and the states behave in a similar fashion in all times. Constructivism says that behavior of states is dynamic. Realism says states always fight. Liberalism says states always cooperate. Marxism says states always focus on deriving economic benefits at the expense of other states. Constructivism says that behavior of different states can be different at one time and behavior of one state can be different at different times. Why is it so that according to constructivism the behavior of the states keeps on changing? It is because According to constructivism, it is the ideas that are important and not the material or tangible items. And when the state's behaviors are not driven by material things, the world becomes complex as multiple things become the driver of the behavior of states. Hence, the states do not behave rationally. In the same situation, one state can compete and the other state can cooperate. Moreover, a state can resort to realistic behavior at one time and a liberal behavior at another time under the same conditions. Hence, anarchy according to constructivism is a subjective term. Reality is not absolute. How states perceived reality is what actually matters. Now why states can behave differently? It can depend on those making the policies of the state. State's behavior can be different depending on soft attributions of state like the culture, values or norms and traditions and language and things like that. Constructivism endorses epistemology. Epistemology deals with the understanding of perception. According to epistemology, there is no absolute reality. Reality is a subjective term. It is not the reality as seen by classical theories that matter but how states view reality is the actual thing according to constructivism that really matters. The word of the year 2016 was post-truth, meaning that there is no absolute truth, but how it is perceived is the truth. According to realism, all states are war-centric and security should be the priority. Hence, nuclear weapons can be good for the state itself, but threatening to others as a state having nuclear weapons create instability in the region and it threatens others. 
but according to constructivism it cannot be objectively understood as reality is how it is perceived hence it is easy to understand why the nuclear weapons of north korea or russia or if iran becomes nuclear power that are perceived as a threat to usa and the nuclear power of england or france or for instance the nukes of israel that are no threat to usa the perception of arab spring is different for united states of america and russia for usa it is a wave of democratization but for russia it is a wave of instability in the region hence it is easy to understand why perceptions matter a lot and why reality is not objective the end of cold war is perceived differently by russia and usa america considers it to be a mighty win for american values of liberal democracy and capitalism and a mighty loss for russia russia on the other hand considers that it step back from a lose lose confrontation between united states of america and soviet union in order to benefit the whole world and russia does not accept that it is an altogether loss for the soviet union constructivism believes that reality is constructed according to constructivism there is no fixed national interest but national interest can be constructed by the states again national interest in the eyes of realism is security through competition national interest in the eyes of liberalism is security and prosperity through a win-win cooperation for marxism it is maximizing economic power at expense of others constructivism believes it to be subjective and different for every state to cut everything short constructivism says that what is rational for one state can be irrational for another state and hence the behavior of the states will be different